All right, welcome back to some more easy blues harmonica. And today we're going to play a blues in C on a C harmonica. So how are we going to do that? So the feeling of the blues is coming from what's called seventh chords, dominant seventh chords. So instead of just a standard chord triad of like your one, your three and your five, you're adding on the flat seven to that. So that's the note that gives blues its sort of flavour. The other note that gives blues its flavour is the flat third. And we use that a lot when we're soloing, so like in the minor pentatonic scale, those sort of things. But the flat third's not actually in the chord, and it's that sort of dissonance and that tension that like gives the blues its flavour. So we can play a blues in C on a C harmonica in first position. Where are we going to get our flat seven? Well, we're going to get that from playing the three draw half step bend, our little friend. So the riff that we're going to learn sounds like this starts on four blows. So it's four blow, three draw half step bend, two draw, two draw double bend, two blow, and then one blow. So what are we actually playing? We're playing the one of the chord, playing the flat seven, then we're playing the five, bending down to the four, then we can just play the three and the one. So that's what we're playing for the one chord. And because that's the key of the song, we can actually play that through the entire song. We don't need to do anything else. So um, uh, let's see where this backing track's at. And I'll give you an example. Three. So yeah, that's a nice, cool riff, and um, once you sort of hear that riff, you'll suddenly notice it a lot in like um, any of the first position blues that are on record. It's a super common riff. Sounds really nice. So things to sort of pay attention to. We're just going to focus on the riff, but I'll quickly talk about soloing. So we're on the bottom end of the harmonica. So the middle of the harp, to get any of the cool notes like your flat sevens and those sort of things, you've really got to be using overblows and that can get a little bit sort of tricky. So generally when you hear like a blues in first, people will be playing right on the top end of the harmonica with all the little blow bends and these sort of things. Like, yeah, you've heard these. All that sort of stuff. Now a C harmonica is really, really high for blow bends. It's not the harp that I use to practice blow bends on. It's not the harp I'd really recommend learning blow bends on. Depends a little bit on your situation. It's mainly just because of the volume and like the um, the highness of the notes. They're quite piercing, um, can be a bit of a struggle for anyone that happens to live close by you or any nearby dogs. So yeah, we're not going to really focus on soloing over the 12 bar blues at the moment. I wanted to do this one basically because, yes, like last week's lessons was bends. This uses the three draw half step bend and also the two draw double bend. So it's a really good riff to like We can really drop down from that five to that four and then go through there. So nice one for practicing your bends. You get a nice solid three draw half step bend and you get a good, you know, go at like the two draw bends. So let's say you wanted to do even more bends. So this is a bit of a like throw in for the more advanced people. If you just want to get started with your bends, just stick with that riff. But what are we doing in a 12 bar blues? So we're in C, so like for our one chord. Our four chord is an F and our five chord is a G. 
So on the five chord, how do we play in G on a C harmonica? That's second position, and we know that really well. So for the five, any of your second position riffs and licks and things will work. What do we do with the four chord? We can play in F on a C harmonica, and that's 12th position. I'll tab it out, but basically it starts on two draw double bend. So if most of this riff is using like the ones, the threes and the fives, we can actually copy that while we're going through the progression on the chords. So for the one chord, we can be doing For the four chord, if we want to, we can just step up through the major scale. Back to the one. For the five, we can do basically the start of the major scale in second position. Go to second, also go to twelfth for the fourth chord. And back to one. So we've got two options. We've got the riff that we're going to learn, and then if you want to challenge yourself in your bends, we can use that 12th position and that, um, well, there's actually no bends for our second position one, but yeah, let's say uh, I'll play it through twice, once with just the riff, and then I'll add in the extra riff so we can have a bit of a listen to that. I wasn't going to do any blow bends, but yeah. <laughs> so there you go. You've got two options there. You've got the nice first position riff. Really focus on that one and get that one happening. And yeah, if you want to challenge yourself with some bends, put in a little bit of 12th position on the four chord. And yeah, just relax in second position for the five chord. Get out there and have some fun. <laughs>